Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel and today we are diving into a simple but important circuit setup using common electrical components. By the end of this video, you will know not just that there are symbols but also how to connect them correctly in a circuit. Let's get into let's get into it. So in question 9, a student investigates different electrical components. The student first investigates how the voltage of the diode affects the current in the diode. So let me uh, let me remind you what the function of the diode. The diode it only lets current flow in one direction, and here is the symbol of the the diode for the electric cell, which is the source of the electrical energy, and this is the symbol, which one terminal positive, and the small one which is negative variable resistor lets you change the resistance in the circuit so here is the symbol for the wires it's uh, just line and it allows the free electrons to pass through the wire or to connect to electricity voltmeter used to measure voltage or potential difference and it just a circle has the letter v for a meter, used to measure electric current and it's represented as a letter A in a circle. For section 2, the examiner is asking to draw a circuit diagram to represent a circuit that a student could use. The diode has been drawn for you. So I need to connect all of these electrical components to form a simple electric circuit or a closed circuit. So we'll connect the cell, the diode, the variable resistor, and the emitter in series. That means one after the other in a single path. So why in series? Because in series circuit, the current is the same at every point and perfect for measuring with the emitter. So from one of the ends, for example, the diode, so I draw straight line using my ruler and this one which is the variable resistor here and continue here drawing or connected to the positive terminal or maybe the negative terminal of the cell no problem and just to complete my electric circuit and do not forget to add your ammeter to measure the electric current which is the voltmeter is not connected in series instead we connect it in parallel and across the diode specifically so i will draw here from the two ends of the diode and a circle which is the voltmeter one of the students here might say sir shall i draw the voltmeter below the diode yes can there is no issue at all so here i can change the position of the voltmeter I might draw below the diode or above the diode is not big issue once it's connected in parallel from the two fixed ends or the two terminals of the diode. The voltmeter here measures the potential difference across the components. In this case we have the diode so we place the voltmeter with one lead on each side of the diode. So why this setup matters, why it is important here, the emitter measures the electric current flowing through the diode. So here, which is the reading of the emitter, is going to be in ampere. And the second point is the voltmeter shows the potential difference, which is voltage in volt. And the variable resistor, its function to change the resistance of the electric circuit the whole electric circuit so we can see how the current and voltage across the diode change so it's a great way to investigate the diode behavior specifically or especially when studying iv characteristics if you want to draw the iv graph for the diode so in this section you learned the following you learn the symbols just write the key words very important you learn how to make correct connections. It's really important to know that. 
and how to measure voltage which is already using the voltmeter and you learned how to measure the electric current in the electric circuit we deserve in this question four out of four because we draw a complete electric circuit with correct symbols for cells a meter and voltmeter we connected a variable resistor in series with the diode and a meter in series with the diode and voltmeter in parallel with the diode and we get four out of four for section a in section b we're given a parallel electric circuit with two branches and each branch has uh, one resistor a and the second one b and each has a current 0.15 and the other one 0 0.23 ampere the question asks to calculate the total current for i whatever one of the command words and state the formula linking the voltage current and resistance and for the third point to calculate the resistance of one resistor which is a and using the total voltage which remember which is um, 2.9 volt okay one Calculate the total current. Command word, calculate. To find the total current in a parallel circuit, we add the currents in each branch. Okay, yalla habibi. 0 0.15 plus 0 0.23, it'll give us 0 0.38, which is ampere. The examiner give us the unit. Thank you for him. So we get the first point. Double I. Command word, state, the formula, linking, voltage, current, resistance, Mr. Ohm's law, VI times R, R equals V over I, I equals V over R. Any one of these, we get one mark. Simple and direct, state it exactly like that in the exam. Step three, calculate resistance of R, command word, which is calculate circle the keywords we use the equation from before which is resistance of a equals what from double i into triple i voltage over i equals the total voltage how much we are told that the voltage across each resistor is 2.9 volt why because in parallel the voltage voltage across each branch is the same so and the current through the R is so voltage 2.9 check the diagram and the current through resistor a 0 0.15 0 0.15 so R which is voltage uh, divided by current 2.9 divided by 0 0.15 it will give us 19.33 so 19.3 and remember this is three significant figures so i will get two marks one for substitution or rearrangement and one mark for evaluation sometimes the question coming with three marks so you have to do what in this case you have to rearrange then substitute and then finally give us the answer which is the evaluation now let's bring everything together with the comparison questions uh, this one all about understanding how current changes in different circuits and using calculation to support your answer so in diagram 2 we have uh, two resistors which is a and b a here which was uh, 19 ohm 19.3 ohm from previous model of previous diagram and this one was 13 ohms in the previous uh, in this question and the total voltage from the battery which is 2.9 volts in diagram one if you go back and you check the diagram one we have two resistor we had parallel circuit with two identity two uh, resistors a and b and uh, the first one receives 0.15 amperes of current and the, the second one 0 0.23 and overall the total electric current 0 0.38 ampere now this question says comment on the difference between the current in the diagram 2 and the current in the battery in the diagram 1 
and let's go step by step i think the calculation for the current is really important so i need to do some workout for diagram two so let me start with a diagram two here so the total resistance in series ra plus rb so the first one which is 19.3 plus 13 it will give us 32.3 ohm this is the total resistance in diagram one now we can use ohm's law so ohm's law which is i equals voltage divided by the total resistance 2.9 volt divided by 32.3 ohm it will give us approximately 0 0.0898 ampere which is approximately approximately here 0 0.09 ampere so this one let me highlight this one because it's really important the examiner is targeting the keyword which is the comparison between the electric current in the diagram one and the diagram two remember in diagram one so in diagram one the total current was 0 0.38 ampere in the previous example let me highlight this keyword as well so this means we need to describe and explain here the difference based on our calculation. So the current in diagram two is significantly lower than uh, the diagram one. So I in diagram two as a comparison less than the I, the current in the diagram one. For the calculation, I might go for two marks now because I show the examiner the conclusion the current is a smaller in diagram two and I show the examiner the calculation of the current in the diagram two as well. But I have to give a reason because uh, it's not enough to uh, get the four marks. Remember that I show the examiner how much is the total resistance in diagram 2 by calculation 32.3 so I should say what the reason for the reducing the current because in high resistance in series is the reason to uh, decrease or minimize the value of the electric current so I would say the total resistance in diagram 2 definitely is greater the total resistance in diagram 1 okay sir do you mind to show some calculation how can I calculate the total resistance in parallel as well no problem just R total which is R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2 you can use this formula for the diagram one so r total 19.3 times is 13 divided by 19.13.3 div plus 13 so the total resistance is 7.7 .7 ohm so definitely 19.3 ohm is greater than 7.7 .7 ohm highlight this one as well one of my students he might say sir why you spend long time to show the calculation for the total resistance in parallel there is another easiest way you already have the voltage which is 2.9 divided by the total current was 0 0.38 so you just divide 2.9 divided by 0. 38 in diagram 1 you get 7.6 which is approximately 7.7 .7. so this also another way to calculate the total resistance in parallel so let me count how many marks i get here i already mentioned the calculation of the resistance in diagram 2 and i calculate resistance is larger in diagram 2 and i calculate the current in diagram 2 and the conclusion for the current is smaller in diagram 2 and that's how you handle a common uh, style question with calm and clear thinking and solid 
calculation. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're revising for physics exam. And keep watching our channel and catch you in the next one. See you later.